Um, hi, everybody. Good evening. My name is Joel Gruley. I'm the undergraduate advisor in the Department of Geography. For those of you who don't know me, on behalf of the Geography Department, um, we would like to, to give a big thank you to Kristen, Carol, and, and Alex for joining us tonight. Um, we're really lucky um, to have you. Um, and then I'd also like to thank the students who are joining us tonight. Um, I know you all are crazy busy, um, and this is a really uh, important, um, a really useful uh, resource to help you learn about careers in cartography and GIS, a, a, a burgeoning field within our discipline of, of geography. Um, and I sincerely hope that you find this event helpful. Mike. Thanks, Joel. So yeah, let's uh, let's get started. Um, we'll turn it over to Alex Brash. So Alex, take a few minutes, tell us about your career path and your current work. Sure, yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, glad to be here. Uh, so yeah, my name is Alex Brosh and I graduated with a degree in geography and environmental studies um, back in 2011. And after that, I stayed in Madison because I'm from Wisconsin uh, for a few years, worked for a environmental engineering company called Stantec. And that was out in Cottage Grove. And I worked kind of all over Wisconsin and the Midwest for the natural resources group. And I did things like uh, collect data on a GPS for wetland delineations or accidental takes if they're trying to permit a, a new wind farm, that kind of thing. And once collected, take it back to the office, uh, process it, make maps and, so, and would be part of reports and things like that. I moved out to Portland, Oregon with that position in 2015 but then wanted to kind of turn um, a new page and try to do something with my more human geography background and from undergrad. And I started working at a small company called Flow Analytics. And we primarily work with local governments and school districts. Um, this year, I'm doing a lot with electoral redistricting. Um, so I started to pivot a little bit away from not GIS and cartography altogether, but just using more than just Esri. Um, I use things like Tableau and a software called Alteryx or R, the programming language, and do a bit more spatial data analytics. Um, for school districts, for instance, we prepare enrollment forecasts. Um, and I was able to kind of do that and further my education at Portland State University, where I got a um, certificate um, they have a program out here, it's Applied Social Demography. So it's about a 20 credit program and, and finished that a couple of years ago and have just been working with Flow ever since. Great, thank you, thank you. Um, next, Kristen. All right, hi there, everyone. Uh, my name is Kristen Vincent. I currently work as a GIS technician for the city of De Pere, which is a municipality located about two and a half hours from Madison uh, near Green Bay, Wisconsin. And um, I am a 2015 graduate of the GIS certificate program at UW, as well as a 2017 graduate from the cartography and GIS master's program. And uh, I guess one thing that I'd like to point out to start with is that my background was not always in cartography and GIS. So my bachelor's degree is actually in chemistry and I minored in history as well. Um, and for that, I went to a small liberal arts college called St. Norbert College. Um, so if anybody is you know, interested in learning more about uh, my transition or um, working in you know, um, multiple disciplines um, with a focus in GIS and um, jump in a breakout room and I'd be happy to share more. Um, but it's kind of funny, Alex, that you mentioned Stantec. That's actually where I got my start uh, after I, a few months out, out from graduation, I was a GIS technician there before landing my current position as a, a GIS technician with City of De Pere. And we do a whole, whole bunch of cool things there. Um, we do a lot of um, data analysis or keeping, um, keeping track of all the spatial data and all the geographic data that goes on within the city, keeping track of that, updating that. Um, we also work with all sorts of different departments in the city as well as residents. Um, so we do things for like public works department, um, our planning and zoning department, 
things for engineering, police and fire, all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm also a FAA certified drone pilot and we have a, a small drone team at the city. And I was actually out flying today. I got some good uh, construction imagery for a new development that's happening in the city. So that's just you know a little bit about me and happy to answer any questions anybody has in the breakout room. Thank you. Thanks, Kristen. And last but not least, Caroline. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Caroline, and I started in the geography department at UW-Madison. Uh, as an undergraduate, I started in the fall of 2008. In the spring 2009, I took the intro to cartography class, and I really liked, uh, I, I found out then that it was a major, and I really liked it. So. Um, I did my bachelor's degree um, in GIS and cartography, along with a certificate in environmental studies. And then um, concurrent with being a student, I also had a, I ended up with a student job with the USGS. Uh, so that was, that was really good experience. And I continued with that job past the end of graduating and decided to explore the option of going to grad school, but I didn't go to grad school right away. Um, I spent a year in between working more than full, more than half time for uh, the USGS while I was taking one or two classes. Um, the faculty at the department had changed right when I was a senior as an undergrad, so I didn't know the new professor. Um, and so taking his classes for that year helped me make the case that I would like to become a grad student there. So I, I had a year in between, and then I started the master's program in GIS and cartography uh, and finished that in 2015. So we're all kind of graduated around the same time. Um, I, yes, I finished that in 2015. Um, while I was a grad student, I also had an internship with a private cartography firm here in Madison. Uh, called XNR Productions, and they changed their name to Terra Carta while I was there. Um, so they did a lot of um, a lot of materials. Just um, they were contracted to do materials for like magazines and also websites and a lot of like advertising and things like that. Um, so it was very graphic design, and then they put me on the web design side of that. Um, and that was an internship. And the company did not, they actually sold to another company. So I wasn't able to continue there. Uh, and right after I graduated, I spent a couple months doing something else. And then all of a sudden I um, was handed a, a job description from someone I knew uh, from my cartography network. And they said, I think you'd be a great fit for this job. And it was a job at the Wisconsin Geological and Natural History Survey, which is part of UW-Madison now. At the time, it was part of UW Extension, which was separate from Madison. But um, anyway, it's part of the university. Um, and I've been working in this job ever since. Um, so that was, I started in January of 2016. It's been over, over five years in this position at the Geological Survey. Um, I look, I work in Madison. Um, we're just off of campus, just a little bit west of campus. And uh, my, my job now is to help my coworkers who are all scientists with uh, science communication, essentially. So I do the maps for publications. Sometimes that's like small maps that go in a journal article. Sometimes that's large poster-sized maps that, um, that, we, that we'll publish uh, and then also some web design. So sometimes it's interactive maps, but it's all about geology and hydrogeology in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, yeah, ask me about any of those things. Great, great, thank you. Um, thanks to all of you. So um, while students are taking a little time to think of questions they're gonna have, I'm gonna ask one general question for all our panelists. Maybe we could start with Caroline and go back in the reverse order. Um, what, what are some of the skills that you gained at UW-Madison in, in geography or out, 
outside of geography that, that have helped you in, in your career? Um, the thing that comes to mind right away is learning how to learn new softwares and new programming languages and new tools, essentially, because um, the software is always going to change. It's always going to be changing. Um, and, and the way you do those things is always going to be changing. So learning how to learn was a, a feature of the, the program. It was something you know, I'd learn how to do something in ArcMap. And then I would also learn how to do it in QGIS. And then I might try it in like the Python interface instead. Um, and I did all of that in my classes. So learning how to learn new tools. Great, thanks. Um, Kristen? Well, I'd actually have to agree with Caroline on that one. Um, and I guess to go a little bit further, um, just the the concepts behind geography are so rooted in everything that we do. You know, you could pick up a new software, or you could pick up a new discipline, but to be able to apply um, all these geographic concepts and I guess learning how to apply all these concepts no matter um, where you go is, is something that I definitely learned at my time at UW and it's been you know super super beneficial especially when um, I started out in the consultant world and now I'm uh, working in city government. So even just jumping disciplines that way while staying in GIS, it was just super important to know how um, how to just apply, um, you know, how to apply these concepts, how to apply what I know how to do to whatever, what it, whatever task is at hand. Yeah, I don't think I can say that much better than Kristen, but I'll try to say it differently because I, I agree that the kind of the breadth of geography and being able to not only within the department, whether it's, you know, physical geography or doing human geography, you get, um, that breadth and the cross disciplinary nature of it. Um, and then outside of it, you know, if you're doing things that are cross listed with anthropology or um, urban design, things like that, um, that is, that kind of had the a basis for them to be able to pivot to fit into different positions or focus on different um, sectors within my work. So first, you know, being able to jump in and know the technology for GPS data processing and working with maps and fortunate that Stantec happened to be using Esri rather than something else, but was able to apply that. But then starting my new position at Flow and being able to, you know, learn kind of still had the basis, but needed a new set of domain knowledge to know more about school districts and now electoral redistricting, but just rooting everything in place and how place matters and how we kind of, we can understand that and answer questions differently than somebody that doesn't have a geography background. 